Bella Hadid has faced criticism for her remarks on social media on the alleged mistreatment of Israeli hostages by Hamas. In a post published on her Instagram stories on Wednesday, the supermodel asserted that during Al McMayer Jan's 21-year-old captivity, Hamas had given him a birthday cake. However, following his release together with the other three hostages, a clinical nutritionist disclosed that the quartet had experienced severe malnourishment during their captivity by the terrorists from October 7th of last year. She appeared to imply in another post that she shared on Wednesday that the treatment of Hamas hostages is superior to that of Palestinians held in Israeli prisons. Following the post, Hadid, a vocal opponent of the Gaza war, was called a horrific human being and accused of spreading misinformation. It happens while Sudanese-Canadian poet and musician Mustafa, whose music video Gaza is calling is purportedly a commentary on the state of affairs in Palestine, co-starred with the Palestinian-American model. Hadid took a remark that Jan made after being rescued on Saturday and posted it to her stories, but it was taken out of context in the birthday cake post. Speaking to the Can Public broadcaster about the torture they endured while in prison, the 21-year-old revealed that his captors had baked him a cake for his birthday. He referred to the action as cynical. The four hostages were allegedly starved throughout their eight-month imprisonment, according to medical professionals at Tel Aviv's Sheba Medical Center, where the captives were treated following their liberation. They lost a significant amount of muscle mass and ate only about a quarter or tenth of what they should have, according to the Jerusalem Post. Protesting Hadid's publishing of the birthday cake photo, Others on social media suggested that her account should be suspended for misrepresentation. One shared a news item claiming a doctor had stated the hostages were beaten and abused practically every day next to the cake post, which he classified as false. They took a man hostage, locked him in the bathroom, piled blankets on him during a heat wave, threatened to kill him multiple times, but OMG they made him a birthday cake, stated one commenter, mocking Hadi for being a Hamas groupie dressed up in Chanel. Bella Hadid is once more disseminating false information and lending support to a terrorist group. Another person said, Does it make it okay after kidnapping and holding him for eight months, even if it's true and they did make him a cake? It's a blessing that the IDF saved him. Now he can rejoice with his family. Maybe it's time for Bella Hadid to taste the cakes. In Gaza. Another person said, Since then, the original post about birthday cakes has been removed. Hadid also faced backlash over a video she uploaded on her accounts, in which Ohad Manar, a nine-year-old freed hostage, disclosed a few Arabic phrases he had picked up while being held captive in Hamas. The video also purportedly depicted the abuse of Palestinian children held in Israeli jails. Can you imagine speaking to a child this way? Hadid said in the post. When his life is under siege, how traumatizing is it for him that he cannot recall every moment? I apologize, but f asterisk 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 you. This is repulsive. After Hadid uploaded the video to her stories, the account at suppressed NWS shared it, and one ex-user claimed it did not accurately portray the circumstances. The child at the top was being interrogated because he made several attempts to kiai people. Retweeting the video, he said, Probably worth mentioning, this video was obtained by Brother Suppressed from Bella Hadid. Hadid made an appearance in Mustafa the Poet's latest music video, Gaza is Calling, earlier this week. According to Cosmopolitan Middle East, Hayam Abbas directed a short film that tells the narrative of a youngster from Gaza who Mustafa is said to have grown up with, as well as the current state of affairs in Palestine. Hadid and rapper MC Abdul, who is 15 years old, play a mother and son who have fled the strife between Israel and Palestine. The movie chronicles the tale of a young refugee and her brother who are residing in a Jenin camp for internally displaced people at the same time. Mustafa stated in a post releasing the music video, I wrote and recorded it in 2022, Bella and I conceptualized the video that same year, we shot it last year. The fact that this song slash movie was composed and recorded so long ago haunts me. To Ali, wherever you are, I love you. He continued, Bella, I appreciate you taking my call. The song's revenues, according to Mustafa, will go to the Palestinian Children's Relief Fund.